student. Okay, awesome. All right, so we, uh, you, you can put in the chat too what program of study you might be searching or seeking after or currently taking or pursuing. So I can't speak today. This has been a long one today. So I will turn the time over here in just a minute. We are with uh, some of our Pima online, one of our Pima online uh, program advisors, and then we're with all of our transfer advisors for our partnering institutions. So uh, to get us started, I will turn the time over to Barbara. Thank you, Jared. Good morning, Carla. And uh, we'll see if we have any more participants uh, joining us. So my name is Barbara and I will be going over liberal arts and how to connect to your program advisor and connect to a group advising sessions. So I will go ahead and share my screen at this moment. Okay. So here we go. Um, so again, we're talking about liberal arts program advisors. Liberal Arts Program Advisors, here's the list, and it is based on your last name. We have a student success counselor. Her name is Erika Elias. You can see that she also provides academic advising for C through D. My name, here I am, is Barbara, and I provide for Liberal Arts General H through L. So based on your last name in your Liberal Arts General, you would be assigned to one of these program advisors. Where you find your program advisor is here in your Pima, My Pima, and the homepage and under, you can see the final grades, academic standing, your book list, Pima Connect. You would click on Pima Connect to view all of your connections. And you'll see faculty, you could see writing center, um, staff members, your program advisors, and I'm sorry, your program advisor, you would click on the schedule, our, our contact information, you can then you can click on the schedule and you'll be able to see the times and dates that fit you. Then you would go ahead and choose a date and time and set put your name in there and you'd be meeting with us, um, your advisor, program advisor. And then, um, oops, sorry, it's last page here. Here we go. And, and then if you want to attend a group advising session, then you would be going to, uh, hold on a second. Hmm. Group advice, oh, did someone say something? No, okay. A group advising session would be under Pima Community College homepage, student resources, academic advising, and program advising session. So I already brought us to that page and you would just scroll down. It gives you some information about setting up an education plan. And I'm just going to scroll down to the liberal arts. You would click on this if you were in any of these liberal arts programs. It shows you the date. Of course, this one has passed. You would click on November 16th and is general concentration course registration session. We usually show um, about a 20 minute video on registering and how to um, navigate your my degree plan, et cetera. And you would just click here and you would register for that. And we do ask that you sign in your my Pima and bring up your my degree plan so that it's already up. And then as we're going through that after the 20 minute video, we then address your questions regarding academic advising, your programs, courses, et cetera. So again, you, you would be finding your program advisor under Pima Connect and you can schedule an appointment. You can also contact your other networks, your connections, again, faculty or tutoring or whoever's listed for you. And then you can also schedule an appointment and you can also go here under the events calendar and join a group advising session. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, and, let's, and then we'll wait for questions at the end of this session. All right, thank you so much, Barbara. really appreciate that. And I'll turn the time over to Kim from the U of A. Hi, everybody. My name is Kimberly. I am with the University of Arizona. 
And today we're going to do a really quick overview of the University of Arizona and the transfer process. As you know, we sit here in the beautiful city of Tucson. University of Arizona is uh, at the heart of Tucson, and we are the state of Arizona's first university. This is what we looked like in those early days, Old Main. The building that sits today at the heart of campus was our first building. It's where students did everything. They took their classes here, they ate here, they slept here, uh, and they hitched their horses out front. Today, our campus is one square mile, actually a little, little more than one square mile wide. It houses 20 different colleges, College of Science, College of Engineering, College of Nursing, Medicine, um, just to name a few. Uh, everything you need to do as a student, you can find on that one square mile campus, everything from our sporting events to our student union memorial building with all of our eateries, 23 different dormitory and living arrangements, uh, counseling, tutoring, and even a, a, a movie theater. Not only do we have a campus here in Tucson, that's our main campus, but we offer campuses across the state of Arizona up to the north in the Chandler, North Valley and Gilbert areas of Phoenix, off to the west in Yuma and down south on some of our uh, border towns, Douglas, Sierra Vista, just to name a few. We also have the number seventh ranked uh, online university campus. University of Arizona Online does offer many fully online degree programs. When you're not studying on any of our campuses and you wanna to get to know other students, I would suggest joining or at least uh, checking out some of the 600 different clubs and organizations. We have everything from academic and leadership clubs to athletic and sports clubs. Let's say you played uh, soccer or baseball in, in high school and you wanna just play for fun during the week. Those kinds of clubs are available uh, as well. If you're interested in Harry Potter or comic books or um, beer, there are all kinds of clubs that you can join. And if you don't find one of the 600 clubs you're interested in, we invite you to start your own. In addition to 600 clubs and organizations, we have eight cultural centers um, on campus. We have 250 different degree programs. Many of those will fall into that liberal arts uh, category. Undergraduate, like our bachelor's degrees, graduate and even postgraduate degree programs are offered at the University of Arizona. We're the only campus in the state of Arizona that has a specifically transfer oriented student support center. It's located at the fourth, on the fourth floor of our student union memorial building. Uh, that staff is completely dedicated to helping all transfer students with any resources, resources to connect with counseling or tutoring or set up appointments to meet with your professors. They offer all kinds of fun engagement opportunities, uh, outings and events like trips to the Grand Canyon. It's also the place where you can rest and relax between your classes when you're on campus, as many transfer students don't choose to live on campus. But if you do choose to live on campus, we have a transfer themed dorm. This wonderful transfer student center offers free coffee and free printing for all of our transfer students. Additional student services are going to be represented in our student success district. This is near almost complete. It is now a nine acre facility that houses all of our support services. Our campus health and wellness services are located here. All of our tutoring from our think tank uh, ser uh, services are offered here. So one-on-one -on -one tutoring for one test prep or weekly test prep to group tutoring and group study section sessions as well as advising through our academic or A Center. Those are our advisors that advise all of our undecided majors, as well as our pre-health science majors and our pre-law majors. And then they're all connected to our main library, our science and engineering library, and our original Bear Down Gym. If you're wanting to add honors to your college experience, we invite you to check out check out our WA uh, Frankie Honors College. 
It's now an honors village housing a thousand students, state of the art uh, dormitories and dining, as well as uh, advising for honors students. We have scholarships. Scholarships for transfer students include our Bridge Award. If you are have a college GPA of 2.5 and 36 transferable units, you're eligible for the Bridge Award. With a 3.0 and 36 transferable units, you're eligible for our Transfer Tuition Award. And lastly, if you're a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society at Pima Community College, when you do your application, you'll be automatically reviewed for our $5,000 PTK Transfer Award. If you haven't already, or you're interested in learning more about our application, head to arizona.edu slash apply. You'll find all the information as well as a link to the transfer application. It's very simple. To visit any of the 20 colleges and, and participate in information sessions, to take a virtual campus tour, or to sign up for one of our live campus tours, head to arizona.edu slash visit for all of that information. And with that, I want to say thank you. Here's the University of Arizona admissions main information. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. I'm going to stop sharing. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, we'll turn the time over to Jennifer from, uh, you know, from ASU. My brain is not working anymore. So That's OK. Thanks, everyone. Um, my name is Jennifer Ash. I am the transfer representative that helps all students um, interested in attending ASU from Pima Community College. Um, at ASU, we offer a wide variety of degrees related to liberal arts. Um, I put in the chat a link to our ASU degree search, and it directly show, um, brings up everything related to liberal arts, which is about over 100 degrees. Um, so lots of different options. We are one university in many places, so you'll see a lot of those degrees are offered at our Tempe campus, which is our historic campus. Um, that's where everything started in 1885. Um, but as well, we, that's so that campus, because it's the founding campus, it, it's the largest and has about 60,000 students that take classes there. Um, if that overwhelms you is a little bit intimidating, we do have our Polytechnic campus in Mesa, as well as our um, West Campus in Glendale, which have about 5,000 students that take classes. And then we also have a campus in downtown Phoenix, which has about 13,000 students. So depending on what you're interested in, um, could determine which campus you're at, uh, or you could just pick what's where you're geographically want to be in the Phoenix area. Um, so it's really up to you. We also offer many degrees completely online, 100% online. So if you do well in an online learning format and need the flexibility to, um, to schedule your studies from week to week, whether you do homework on Monday at midnight or Sunday afternoon on Tuesday, the 100% online degree will allow you to kind of set your own schedule and complete your degree at your own pace. So, uh, so check out those degree options. Um, as well, we recommend students apply about um, a month, sorry, in their last semester at Pima Community College, about six months before they want to start classes at ASU. This will allow you to qualify for the maximum amount of financial aid and scholarships that we offer for our transfer students. Um, we have a wide variety of grants. Um, available for students who are applying early with their FAT and sending their FAFSA to ASU. If you're just starting out at the community college, I recommend checking out the link in the chat for the ASU transfer guide. Um, that's our pathway program. So you could sign up for a My Path to ASU and that'll, you would pick your major that you're interested in and indicate you're transferring from Pima. And it'll give you a list of all the classes that you can complete at Pima that will transfer to ASU and keep you on track to your bachelor's degree completion in the most time efficient, cost efficient way. So I'm happy to discuss any of the steps to apply the pathway information, um, your, any degree that you're interested in, just let me know what questions you have. I have my, you have my email and my phone number in the chat. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate that. I'll turn the time over to Amy with NAU. Perfect. Share my screen here. 
Sorry, my camera takes a little bit longer to load, so you'll be able to see me. Oh, there I am. Perfect. So I'm Amy. I work with transfer students as well as first year and graduate students. So kind of a wide range of populations. Um, so you can see our Flagstaff campus here is in Flagstaff, but we also have 20 plus statewide campuses. So uh, many are partnered through the community colleges across the state, but we do have some that are set alone campuses. So like NAU Yuma or NAU North Valley in North Phoenix. And then we have all of our online programs. So a lot of different opportunities to be a student at NAU. Again. Let's try that again. So I'll go over the transfer admissions requirements to become a transfer student at NAU. So you will automatically be admitted to NAU if you have an associate's degree with a 2.0 or the AJEC, Arizona General Education Curriculum Certificate with a 2.5 GPA. However, some students don't get either. They just take a semester or two of courses and then decide they wanna transfer. Then we would be looking at a combination of your college and high school transcript to determine your um, eligibility for admissions. Some resources we offer to our transfer students, we have a transfer credit tool called Jack's Path. So this allows you to enter in all of the course, the credits that you've taken at the community college and how they will directly transfer to NAU. Speaking of which, we have a two NAU program. So that's a partnership program with the, the community colleges across the state of Arizona, as well as a few in California. So you'll start out as a like Pima Community College student, but you'll get access to NAU resources such as the NAU online library, online mentoring, any transfer um, and online services offered to transfer students that are online will be offered to you as well as a two NAU participant. You'll also be paired up with a, net, with a representative that um, works out of that campus. So we're currently hiring for the individual that will work out of the Pima Community College campus. Um, but the, once they are hired, they will have meetings with you to create your Jack's path to help you apply, make sure all your transcripts are up to date, all of that good stuff. And to join, it's just a form you fill out. There is no like application process. You fill out the form, the representative will reach out to you, and then you can start working with them. I know other universities have similar programs, so you're more than welcome to join other programs and then pick the, be the university that's going to be the best fit for you. Um, so just because you're part of the 2NAU program does not mean you have to become an, a two, or an NAU student. We have a couple of transfer scholarships. So first is our Phi Theta Kappa. So for those of you in the Honor Society, you do have to be a member and fill out a separate application. You can get a $4,000 um, scholarship. The needs-based scholarship called the Jacks Transfer Award, that is based on the FAFSA, so it's nothing that we look at specifically. So if the FAFSA determines that you are eligible for that, it will be part of your financial aid package. And that can be $2,000 if attending the Flagstaff campus and $1,000 if, if attending a statewide campus. And then we have our two NAU um, scholarship opportunity as well. So you do have to be part of the program for at least two terms, have 45 transferable credits with a 3.0 GPA to be eligible for that scholarship. It's $2,000 per year, and it is el eligible for or renewable for one additional year. So it's available for two years. And we do welcome you to come visit campus. We do daily campus presentations um, Monday through Friday morning with a presentation and a, and a guided tour. And then we have virtual options. So we, we offer that same presentation at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday virtually and then at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. And there are other uh, various virtual opportunities on our website as well. And then we have an open campus. So if you do want to come and take a self-guided tour, you can do so. And then if you come during business hours, um, you can meet with a, a representative um, like myself to help answer any questions that you might have. And then this is me again. So if you do have any questions regarding transferring or like I said, I also work with first year and graduate students. If you have any of those types of questions, I would be more than happy to help you out and I'll pass it along to the next presenter. All right. Thank you so much, Amy. And uh, we'll close it out today with Layla from GCU. Hi. So good afternoon. Uh, my name is Leila Salazar, and I am the admissions um, transfer advisor for Grand Canyon University. Um, 
My online counterpart is Luis Sordoñez, and so he works with all students that are looking to attend um, online to complete their bachelor's degrees. Um, so we are full service counselors, and what that means is we help you from the very beginning from um, completing your application, the admissions process, advising um, which classes to take at Pima, um, which classes you'll need to complete your degree at GCU, financial aid questions. If you um, have questions in regards to FAFSA, we can help answer those or lead you to the website where um, you can get your questions answered as well. Um, and also look at all scholarship opportunities that you have at GCU. One of the big things that we like to do is a transcript evaluation. Um, and so what we ask is for the unofficial transcript for um, students and we will review that Pima unofficial transcript so that you can see how your credits at Pima will transfer over into your major. And this also lets you know how many classes that you might still have left to take at Pima or how many classes you'll need to complete at GCU for your bachelor's degree. And then we will review also a cost of attendance. This way, you know what it's going to cost you to attend school after um, any scholarships that you may be eligible for if you're applying uh, for FAFSA. And also it gives us an opportunity to, for you to set goals for yourself in terms of our academic scholarships. We do have appointments daily, Monday through Friday. Luis and I do have an office at Pima West Campus, but if it's more convenient for you to meet at East Campus or downtown or Desert Vista or perhaps a coffee shop near your home, we will definitely set up a time to do that. For traditional campus, you will do four classes per semester. That's 32 credits an academic year. Our academic scholarships start at a 2.5 GPA. And then um, that is just the minimum. And those are automatic based on your transcript. When you complete your associate's degree, there is an additional $1,000 scholarship um, that you can add. One of the big things is being a partner with Pima. We want all students to complete that associate's degree because it's a win-win for both, especially for you, because it is um, at a less expensive cost for you to take your classes at Pima. And then once again, our admissions application is free. These are a list of some of the liberal arts degrees that we have. So for instance, if you let us know you were interested in professional writing for new media and a minor in business, we'd love the opportunity to do that transcript evaluation so you can see exactly how those classes transfer over. And last but not least, this is my information and my counterpart Luis's information. That way, if you have any questions, we would love the opportunity to answer them for you and just talk about what GCU has to offer. With that being said, Jared, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Layla. So uh, we have about a minute and a half before they shut us down for today, and then we go back to the